Today we're here with A.J. Moses, and A.J. has written an article for the Woodworkers Guild of America website. All this information is in that article. What we want to do here with A.J. is get an overview of this project. The project is a cremation cast. Each of these is an individual cast we've got here. So, A.J., give us kind of the 30,000-foot view of what this is all about, um, the process, and what your article is all about. Well, uh, the idea came to me uh, as a request from uh, someone uh, to make a cremation cast for them. So I researched a little bit, found out about the volume required, and it's uh, it's based on the size of the person. Uh, so that's a big deal. We want to make sure that when you build these, the person the person who has been cremated is going to fit inside this thing. It's and critical. That formula is in the article, so you can find that there. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's part of it. A very personal request. So it's nice. You as a woodworker are make we're making the first one for someone you knew. Right, and you know George. None of us is going to get out of this deal alive. So That's true. <laughs> you may as well you may as well make one for yourself and and uh, make it beautiful. And, Anticipate yeah, the need. Sure. All right. Now that maple one, you can you can take the bottom off, right? So we can right. kind of see what the construction's about. Right. It's a neat approach. It's kind of a corner pillars with wood panels in between, um, with the wood panels splined into those corner posts. Yeah, yeah. So pretty pretty simple construction, really, but a elegant looking box. When Thank you're you. Done. How, uh, go ahead. I, I added these pins for alignment of the base, so there, there's no way to make a mistake uh, when you're transferring. And unlike something like a nothing. jewelry box, you don't want a hinge lid, or because once this is sealed up, it's going to stay sealed up. There's no compelling reason to get back in there. So Absolutely. the bottom just screws on once it's indexed over the pins and everything is in there. Now, what about material choice? What do you think? It, for a small project like this, George, there's no reason to skimp on material. So I really strongly recommend a good quality hardwood. And really think about the person if you know anything about them. And you may select the wood based on on uh, what you know about the person. So avid uh, baseball fan, you might make it out of ash because baseball bats sure. are made out of ash. So that, that would be a really nice touch. Um, this one, you had laser engraved. I did. Uh, actually, it was by request, and in addition to the, you know, the request was just first name, but in addition to the name, you could add a little uh, emblem, maybe uh, maybe the Shriner or uh, uh, Eagle Scout or a service member or something like that. You could put a flag on. Yeah, that's uh, a, I really like that touch, and the laser engraving is not that expensive. It doesn't add much cost to this and, and really personalizes the box for them. Well, this is neat. Um, the story all about this project is up on the Woodworkers Guild of America website yes. and all the details that everybody would need to make one just right. like this is on there as well right yeah all right sure, cool sure. well thanks for sharing this with us i was uh, dying to learn more about this if you know what i mean <laughs> and uh this is a great article have a look at it check it out on the wwgoa website